Today we are going to show you something special. We will see what happens to these devices if we give them 220 volts directly. These devices should work with low voltages. That means that the result will be absolutely unpredictable. This thing gonna blow! Oh my, it's going crazy! Look out! What kind of smoke bomb is that? And we're gonna squeeze out of the socket 33 kilowatts of pure light with the lantern we made. Don't try this yourself, it's dangerous, but we are pros. So we can! So which one we are picking first? I think this screwdriver should go first, but how to give it 220 volts? I can take off the accumulator. So we have to disassemble it and connect 220 to the motor directly. Such a nice accumulator, 800 milliamperes. Guys, this motor is one of the cheapest to buy, I don't feel sorry about it. Well, my friend, time to sacrifice you. What's that? There's smoke. A spark flew out of here. There must be the brushes, so they were burned instantly. Turn on it moved and the sparks at once. Oh my gosh! I really want to connect the batteries. They are just like asking me to do this with them. Let's try. <laughs> Alright, the discharging of the six cells. Three, two. Going on. Did you see that? It pooped. It pooped. You think the battery pooped? No, they were just the caps burned. Have a look. Let's go further. Well, guys, let's start to give a lithium battery 220 volts directly. No one tried to charge lithium like this. What's up, red one? You wanna hug? You wanna go with me, Ginger? Take him, he likes it. One, two, Ginger, you better run. Three. Where are you going, Ginger? Wow, the elation got burned. And we have another battery to burn here. That is a scooter battery. It has served me well and now retired. And I read somewhere in the internet that these batteries can be possibly brought to life if we give them 220 directly for a few seconds. The place inside must be divided again. And it must start working again. So let's give it a try. Just do the same. Plug well and move farther. 3, 2, 1. It will blow loud. There it goes. Did you like the sound, Anton? I thought it will explode hard and destroy your house. I can see the electrolyte now. The sound was just like from the kettle, and it was going to boom. Obviously, the battery didn't like 220. It was like screaming hard about it. It was just like a banshee. I've got a huge battery in stock. Let's explode it. Look at this beauty! And there are plenty of smaller batteries. <laughs> this one can explode extremely hard. I strongly recommend you to take everything valuable far from here. I think we should do it on the ground. It may destroy the table. If it happens, that would be epic. I don't really want my table. Okay, I'll do anything for you, my viewers. Let's cook it. Bodies. Plus, minus. It has 5 volts. Almost nothing. One. Two, three. <laughs> the wires are vibrating. <laughs> it's going nuts! What a heck! What kind of smoke bomb is that? Again. That's a mess. It's like a saucepan boiling. It doesn't blow up, Alex. With all their explosive and so on. Well, what's the smell like? Don't inhale that! Smells like electrolyte. Hey, have a look! Just look what we found. It is melting. What's that? These are the caps. The electrolyte is okay then. We cooped one of the caps. This one. Yeah, there is no electrolyte anymore. And the plates are destroyed. This happens to damaged units. 
Next one is a Chinese balalaika. Someone has given it to me for repair and the possessor has denied to pay for it. So we're gonna explode this one. It doesn't have any wires, so we'll give 200 volts right where supposed to be placed the batteries. Will it like so much power? Is it gonna eat so much electricity or not? Maybe it will be too much. Just as expected, just boop and much smoke. Smoky, nice explosion. Do you feel sorry about that? Really much, can we repair it? Let me repair it. I've got an idea. <laughs> Something there got burned and I want to know what. Let us show you what burns here from the big impulse. Well, turned around, the board is burned a little. Look here, the components of the power amplifier get burned. No condensers has blown up though. Why not the condensers? Let me repair it, I've got a secret technique. How do you feel about it? Why so many condensers here? Let's turn it on and you will see it. It's going to be awesome with this inside. I think it may be the most dangerous thing in the whole video. One, two, three. Just look at the parts. It is burning. Turn it off. The flame is green. Turn it off. I told you. Look what's got into it. Smell. I hope nothing would blow again. It has blown like a real bomb. And look at the condenser. They're intact. <laughs> Do you feel sorry? No, I'm disappointed. Why only one? Because of short circuit. We need to connect it better. Let's fix and remove this one. And we can go with it. Round two. Who's gonna win? Three. Two, one. Hold it. Why this is so scary? Smoke from the socket. Crap. The socket can't do this anymore. Obviously. <laughs> Have you seen that? Just look what happened here. One survived. Watch out, they can still clap. Just have a look at the hole in the condenser. Oh my gosh. This I can call damage. Let's move to the dessert. It is the most crazy thing we have ever connected 220 volts to. This is a super powerful electric arc mega lantern. Here it is. Just have a look at this beauty, graphite here. You may saw already how loudly it works and the light. Being sourced from a bike accumulator, it is so bright. But now we will give it 220 directly. Well, guys, this will be dangerous, but I'm prepared. Ready? Well, let's go. Just make it fast, okay? There is something fell down. Let's turn off the fridge. So, there's something has fallen somewhere. Like that. That is fun. Give it, give it. Let's do it again. Here we go. Wow, that is so powerful. I can feel some pieces of graphite flying in the air. I think I need a welding mask. We've got one. We have a piece of luxury. Here you are. You're safe and now you don't need the glasses. I'm so protected. 300 amperes. That's 33 kilowatts of light. It blinds like a thousand of welding machines. <laughs> the dogs don't like this, I see. The wire is going to burn down. Oh, look here. It's boiling over there. There, a little bit longer and the cable would melt. Is it hot? There's a current. Hope it's not gonna explode. Oh my gosh, have a look, it's over. It's dead. One stick has been heating too much. And another one is like a mess. It is so hot. It is for 10 amperes, not for 16. Let's have a look at the electrodes. As you can see, there is some kind of covering heats only the surface and they aren't really damaged. Well, friends, the experiment is over. And you know how dangerous can be 200 volts. In the next video, we will show you how dangerous are the mines and unexploded rockets, if you don't mind. Subscribe not to meet that.